Hey guys, I'm here today to do my post Christmas sale haul or Boxing Day haul, whatever you want to call it. Um, I went to tons of stores with my mom the past couple days. I actually filmed this video yesterday and my like voiceover thing was all off and I told you all the prices of everything but now I cut all the price tags off so I'll do my best to guesstimate like how much it was. So yeah, um, here we go. I went to TJ Maxx and um, I actually need a new heat protectant because I've been out of my chi and my ends are like totally getting fried and it's really gross. So I was looking around because you know how they have like designer stuff there and they do have the cheese stuff there so it would be cheaper than buying it at like Target. But I found the um, Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal and this is a um, nourishing stylish styling treatment and you're, you're supposed to put it in um, to damp or dry hair and it's supposed to add shine and protection, control frizz, boost moisture, increase elasticity and help smooth hair. It also speeds up the drying time. Who knows if any of those things are true, but um, it was $10.99, which and normally it would be $21.95, so this was like a steal, and um, he protected it as he protected it to me. I don't really care. So yeah, this will probably work out just fine. The next thing I picked up from TJ Maxx was um, these mustache scissors, but you can actually use them for your eyebrows, and it comes with a little comb, and then here's the scissors. Um, because I like to do my own eyebrows and shape them. They're in really bad shape right now because I'm letting them grow out so I can shape them how I want. But I do need the scissors to shape them properly. The next place I went to was Ross and I picked up these sunglasses. They're just the tortoise shell like wannabe Ray-Bans. Um, they're $4.99 which is like super cheaper sunglasses. I think the only other place you could find cheaper sunglasses would be Forever 21. Um, and I had a pair like this from Forever 21 actually and the pin came out. So they broke and need a new pair because I go to school in the desert so the sun is like beating down on me all the time and I'm walking in class and it bothers my eyes. So I need a new pair of sunglasses and it's just like this and yeah. The next thing I picked up from Ross were these shelves. Um, it's like one unit they connect together. I really wanted those shelves because I like redone my room-ish kind of. Like every time I come home me and my mom are like looking at my room and um, I have like the shelf like over here and it's just like in such an awkward spot and I'm like no mom like that's kind of put my dresser and like where a normal person would put it. So we bought those um and I'm really excited to put them up. The next thing I bought were these picture frames and there are six of them. Like I said I'm like kind of redoing my room. Um, my mom wants to put them on that wall there but I want to put them right there. Um we'll see who wins but um, I do need picture frames because, like, I've gone to so many things in college and high school that I want to, like, put up in my room, so that would be a great, um, start for that. And then the last thing I picked up were these curtain rods. Um, they're huge, and they have, like, a little sparkly at the end, which I want. We're going to put these on my window, and I actually picked up some curtains yesterday, um, to put on the curtain rod. I'm just buy the curtain rod because I bought curtains. Yeah, they fell together. <laughs> The next day I went to was Wet Seal, and they were having, like, everything was on sale, but then, like, on top of that, it was 60% off. So, um, I picked up a few things. I got these black suede loafers, um, with, like, little gold tassels. They're super cute, and they were, like, $5, I think. And then I picked up these lime green flats, and they're, like, the stretchy, like, ballerina ones, and these were, like, $4. And then I picked up this nude bralette, because I love the bras, like, it's not a bralette, it is a bra, I guess. I don't know. That have like the lace coming down the bottom, like on Tumblr, that's like all you see. So I was really excited when I picked up that. The next place I went to was Forever Between One, and I picked up this cross um, rosary. Well, why would I say cross? It's a rosary. Um, I am Catholic. I don't know if you're supposed to wear rosaries or something, but um, I'm definitely going to wear this one as that. Um, I wouldn't wear my rosary that was like blessed by the Pope, but this one I think is so so. And Madonna does it, or did it, so whatever. I also got these earrings. They're just like kind of cluster earrings. They're big fat ones. Um, all like the cute cluster earrings were clip-ons, and like, I don't do clip-ons, so yeah. I also picked up this cross um, ring. It is so cute. Um, it's just got like rhinestones in it, and I tried on the eight, and it like was really big, so I got the six, but I tried another ring, and the six was like huge, so I don't know what the deal is with their sizes, but um, yeah, this ring is totally adorable. 
Next door I went to was Victoria's Secret and I got a new cheese body splash because last year um, from one of my hauls around this time I did purchase this um, body splash and I'm almost out so I figured it would be a good time to buy some more because it was on sale. Normally it's $15 and I got it for $10 um, so that was great. And then I also got the 5 for 26 panties. Yesterday when I filmed the haul I showed them but I put them away so I was like whatever you guys don't need to see. Then the next store I went to was Marshalls and I picked up this brush. Um, I have an awesome brush. It's called a Flexi Vent and like this like bends and it's got the vent like this. And apparently my mom thinks this crap bullet is kind of like falling apart. But it's like the best brush ever so should we buy this one? I'm probably not going to like it but whatever. I have been in the market for combat boots. Um, they're totally in style now. I don't know if I particularly like them per se, but they're in style and I really want them. And those Steve Madden West Coast studs are like super expensive and then they were here at Target that was $35 and I just didn't want to pay it. Then I found a pair at Agachi that was $35 with the studs and I was like, oh, maybe I'll buy those. And then they didn't have my size. So you had black ones in a nine and then brown ones in a seven and a half, but I was like, they wouldn't that brown. So I went to Marshalls and I found these boots. Um, these were only $20, and I think they're super cute, like, I think they're better than combat boots just because they don't look as, like, older, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. They just zip up here, and then they have, like, a buckle, and then some buttons. Um, the buttons do come off, so, like, if you wanted to have, like, this, you could. I probably won't just because it's not really what I do. But that is always the option, and they're by the brand Sugar. Um, originally, like, the designer price, I don't know what it was, but the Marshalls price, oh wait, the designer price was 40 and then the Marshalls price was 20 so those were, like, basically the steal. The next thing I got from Marshalls was these other pants, and they just look like this, and then they have, um, they don't have pockets in the front, and then they have fake and they have real pockets in the back and it just zippers up the side here. Um, I really have been wanting a pair of leather pants. I have owned one pair of leather pants in my life and then in second grade and I grew with them. So I've been wanting a pair ever since. Um, and when I showed my mom and she was like, can I just buy you a pair of leather pants? But I was like, no, mom. I was like, like, let's get it right. The last thing I picked up at Marshall's was these gray curtains. Um, hence the purchase of the curtain rod. Um, I'm going to hang these with my window. They're, actually, they're not curtains, they're panels. Um, but yeah, I think they're both my room because everything's like cream and gray and taking the blue and then like a little back, I guess. Um, but these look all great. So I went to is Bath and Body Works and the stuff because they're having their semi annual sale. So basically, everything is 50% off. So I got my favorite candle, which is Mahogany Cheap Light. And I feel like everybody knows it smells like Abercrombie, so I don't need to tell you, but yeah, it definitely smells like Abercrombie. And I got this um, as a replacement for my dorm because one of my dorms like to right here and I'm like definitely scared. I'm definitely get scared. Really. I'm definitely afraid that it's going to like, they're not that time to get back. And I have one here in my room um, that I'm going to keep here and then I also have a 30% off, um, a $20 or more purchase on my Bath and Body so I'm going to order one um, to be shipped to me as well. And then I also got Vanilla Bean Noel and that just smells like vanilla and it's awesome. Um, I wanted to get this big one but then um, I had a coupon and my mom was already spending 20 so then if I spent 10 I would have got 10 off. So I was like eh, then I could only get one because wait for it. So I bought the mini that's why. My mom wanted to get the wallflowers which she did and she was like smelling them and she was like oh you would really like this one and it's called black pepper bergamot. And the best way to describe it is it smells like aftershave. And like I'm totally into like musky, like men smells. And I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. So that's why I got the mini and this one and the vanilla bean because it was ten dollars because they were half off because the semi I didn't say. Duh. There's the one to my story. <laughs> and then between myself and Christmas gifts, I got a bunch of these um, hand sanitizers. I have like seven in my hand. Um, I have fresh picked apples, fresh picked strawberries, pink sugar plum, hearty animal, midnight pomegranate, island margarita, and um, pink bloom. So I feel like I'm going to have these forever because one that I have I got in October or like September and it's only like halfway gone and I use it all the time. So 
It was still lasting like forever. The next store that I went to was Kohl's, and Kohl's was having sales too, and I had Kohl's cash, and put it on my phone, and basically I paid next to nothing for all of this. Um, this, this first thing that I bought, I just went to, it's a apartment nine, and it is a fur vest, and I have been looking at the mall for the past two days, two different malls, for a fur vest, and at Target, because I wanted the one in the little girl section that said on my degree end spot, but of course they only had an extra small, and like, yeah, that's how you can fit one of my arms so um when I finally saw this because I I went to the mall on Wednesday and this was like $36 and then when I went to the mall today it was $27 and I'm, just, I'm probably going to style like a New Year's Eve like outfit with this perhaps and then I also picked up um this pink like bib top kind of and it's just pink and it has lace down the middle and I think this was like $13 and then yeah and it's really cute this is totally something one of my roommates would wear um but I was inside by her and I thought I'd wear it I might also sell this for the new book as well the last thing that I got from Kohl's was this relic wallet and it's awesome because it opens like this and um there's like spots for like all my important cards like I have my ID all my credit cards my and then with like my health cards and then in the middle is where the change purse is and then on this side there's room for like all my like store like cards like my um, cafe card, Sephora card, drink card, library card and then like my size cards from Victoria's Secret and Buffalo and then I have all my coupons in here and then my um, checkbook in here and that was the whole purpose of getting the wallet because I just got a checkbook and I didn't want to carry it around with a wallet and a checkbook, like, it was just too much for me. And then the last store that I went to was Target. All the Christmas stuff at Target was 50% off, so I decided to get some um, Christmas cards for next year that I'm going to send for my dorm. Um, I'm an RA, so I'm going to be an RA next year, and um, I think it would be really cute if I just send some, some cards. So I got these first, these ones are very sparkle, they're really fancy. I was looking for more of these, but I figured they would probably be sold out because it's really cool print. So I was going to buy it. Then I also got these little puppy ones, and I was searching high and low for like, another box of these because I was like, really like only like dog lovers, like extreme dog lovers like myself would buy these cards. And I figured they would be extra, but apparently not. I honestly got the most awesome pair of pajamas ever at Target. There are these button up, um, oh, maybe I should button up. I'll talk about them a little bit. So, one of my BFFs, Daniela, she will turn her here on YouTube. Her name is Daniela XO. I will link her in the bottom bar. Instagram, a picture of the other night, and believe it was Christmas Eve of her wearing these pajamas. And I was like, really? Wearing these pajamas, right? Because my mom and I went to Target and I saw them, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta have them. And then I was like, $54, and then a pair of pajamas. But I did think they were the cutest pajamas ever. And this is this, the white with gold um, polka dots and then the black piping. And then a little pocket. And so yeah, I saw them and I was like, no, that's too expensive. I don't ask me after that. Then we went back after Christmas, they were 30% off. I was like $60. I'm like, yeah, I'm buying them. So yeah, I have these pajamas now. And this is the pants. I just have a little black string. And then the bottom has the black piping as well. And they're so like sophisticated and childish at the same time. Then I also got this knit brown sweater, and this is a great style with my combat boots. I don't know if you guys can see this, but not my combat boots, but my combat S boots. Um, they have like little gold and stitching, if you can see that. Um, so this is really cute as an oversized sweater and just something to wear that's comfy. Then I got some things that I needed for my dorm. Um, I needed cotton balls and some Q-tips, and then I also needed um, some face wash, because I'm going to use this with my um, Olay Pro X, which is like the clear sign of media, I'm going to use this as a cleanser for it, um, because this is a face wash my mom's used like forever, so I just figured this is way cheaper than buying like the serum for the Pro X, because it's like $30 for a thing like this, but this is like $3 or $4. And I also needed some more toner, and this is the Neutrogena um, Acne Stress Control, like they have like a whole line and they use the whole thing, except for the moisturizer, I still use my clean moisturizer. But this is awesome. I just need a new one. I was running out. And then I also got some, um, like it's compared to the Jergens, but 
It's the Target brand soft tanner because I actually want to make it look like I did something on the face, which I really did it. And I was going to go fake tanning. I know it's bad, whatever, but um, I got my tenses out, so I really haven't been able to do anything like this week was the first time I ventured out of the house. So yay, kudos to me. And then I also got some makeup. I just got this Maybelline um, eye from Maybelline CoverGirl eyeshadow in Snow Blossom. It's just a white shadow. And then I picked up Essie's Nothing Else Metals from their new metallic line. And this is so pretty. I'm totally painting this on my nails tonight. So I will show you guys next time. And then I got the um, Rimmel Pink Blush Lipstick. It just looks like this. Um, I'll swatch it for you guys. I was going to get their new lipstick because I had another coupon. And I was like, no, I don't need it. I don't really, and I don't really want it that much. And then I was on Pinterest that night. And I saw someone wearing that new lipstick. And I was like, oh my god, I have to. So I'm going to go back to Target and I'm going to get it. The last store that I went to was Aero Pastel and I just got two polos. I got a white one um, and then a black one because I wear these polos for work. Um, and I just wanted to have some more extra and it's better to spend my mom's money than my own mom. That was my Boxing Day post Christmas sale haul. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments box and I will sure to get back to you. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and just keep watching. Yes, I'm wearing my Texas Tech Raiders shirt. Yeah. Go TTU. Yeah. Um, go Red Raiders. Um, guns up. They're playing in the mini football tonight, and I'm really excited. I hope they win. That's like my second favorite university. That was my second choice to go to school. So I hope that they win. Last night when I filmed this, I was wearing my Bobo shirt because they were playing against Cincinnati and they won, so it's cool. But I was up in my school pride then. Um, but yeah, go to you.